Hi, this is Keith Davis, and I'd like to share with you a few ideas about improvisation, about how to get started with improvisation. These are some ideas that my students and I have found very helpful. We're going to start off with a C major scale. And from that scale, we're going to take the three most basic, uh, most commonly used chords, which are the one chord based on C, the four chord, which is F, the five chord, which is G. We're going to play these chords as what we call a cadence, going from the one chord to the four chord, back to the one chord, to the five chord, back to one. And we're going to do that in all three positions, starting from a root position of C, then first inversion, second inversion. Okay. In addition to that, with the left hand, we're going to play the roots of these chords, for example. Students have found it useful to put, uh, if you put your second finger on the one, which is C, your thumb on four, which is F, your little finger on five, which is G. You don't have to move your left hand at all with this, which is helpful when you're getting started. So anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this into a four bar chord progression like this, for example. One, two, three, four, C. going to repeat that four bar chord progression using some simple rhythms. We're going to do it in all three positions of these chords. familiar with the voice leading of this. The voice leading is going from one chord to another with the most economical motion. For example, C going to F like this, C going to G like this, the closest inversion of the chord. Then what we're going to do is we're going to begin to move these chords around a little bit more by going up or down one inversion on the chord and then voice leading to the next chord. For example, C So what we're going to do is we're going to cover all the possibilities for all the different voice leading going from one chord to another. And we're also going to work on moving our inversions up and down. The rules I usually give my students are go up or down one inversion and then voice lead to the next chord. So up an inversion, voice lead, up an inversion, voice lead, up one inversion, voice lead, up one inversion, like this. Okay. So you want to become familiar with each one of these positions separately and then start moving them around that way. And then we can start experimenting with some more interesting rhythms. talk about rhythm in another video coming up soon. Okay, next we're going to take these chords and we're going to break them up. We're going to break them up into broken arpeggios or broken chords and we're going to, going to begin to make melodies out of them. So if we just start off in one position, we're going to get something like this. We can make that more interesting by trying different rhythms and different patterns. Okay, so once again, I suggest that you try all three different positions separately without doing any moving around. So, and then once you can do that, then you can begin to begin to move these things around the piano wherever you like.
combinations using like two notes of the chord. <laughs> 